Hello, it's Bart from Niche Manufacturer. I would like to show you how to use our new lava asset with old uh, RAM 2019. In fact, uh, this these two assets could work together in one project. Uh, but during import process, you have to, uh, you know, follow a few simple steps. We will use HTLP project as it's more complex during import process. So. Uh, let's go to the package manager and find our uh, river auto material. If let's import it. If you have already this uh, asset inside your project, you could skip this step because, in fact, now we will set up a clean project with uh, old RAM and the new lava asset, right? So we import uh, RAM 2019. And after that, we will import HTRP support pack. If you don't use HTRP or URP, you skip uh, importing support packs. So let's import them. After that, uh, we'll have to remove two folders. First of all, first is additional tools. And the second is spline system. It's because uh, these two folders will come with new Lava asset. Uh, new Lava asset have a spline system in version 2023 and we don't want to create mess between these files because not all files will you know overwrite each other so now we will create we will import uh, new lava asset into the project and in fact we will have whole system inside the project from uh, in version 2023 but materials and shaders uh, for river will be in version 2019 and this will work together. So you could use this both asset together, but you have to remember not all data will migrate from old RAM version to new version because we totally rebuild the pack. And in fact, for example, in profiles, uh, some of the data has changed. Not all data will migrate. For example, flow map will work, but uh, terrain carving and painting is totally different in new uh, RAM version, but you hold your splines and lake objects, so in fact you do not destroy whole project. If you will simply regenerate the lakes and the rivers, or you modify uh, any point, it will simply uh, refresh data. Okay, for uh, HTRP we also import HTRP support pack. Uh, let's go to the tutorial scene and see seems everything works fine if you will create 3d object uh, spline we are able to attach uh, material or profile for example let's let's attach water material and see if it works actually um, here it is and Yeah, let's drag and drop this material. The tesselate one, maybe. Of course, if it's HTRP, we have to fix the um, material subsurface profile. So we click fix. And yeah, seems it works as it should. Uh, by the way, um, we could use also profiles from all the RAM but as I mentioned before if we will use old profiles not all data will migrate because for example mm, flow map will work because uh, it's pretty similar in new version there are new options in UV section basically new features so you will not have to rebuild anything but a few options that may be interesting for water, especially fixed tilling. Terrain options were totally rebuilt, so terrain painting and carving you have to set up from scratch again or try to convert lava profiles. In water demo scene, we see that there are no missing. We could modify uh, splines which were built with older RAM version, so in fact, we migrate from older to newer version. 
If you have any questions, uh, you have our Discord or email support. Just give us in. Bye.